Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be working on trying to customize my home screen. Let me see if I can exit out of this right quick. So if I go to my home, I have this set up right now. And what I want to do is try to customize the home screen. And an individual said that this app would work pretty good. So I already got connected to my Wi-Fi, my home Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Open it up, and we'll see how this works. All right, so there was a trial. I went ahead and bought it. It says it's $2.99, so let's see. How this works it says it's it's got an unlimited license now okay so it looks like everything already did like an auto populate maybe so let's go into settings uh oh hold on the car is definitely not a Nissan can I change this oh yeah I can Chevrolet uh, theme editor so I'll probably change this color to more of a blue So you can do the auto, nighttime, daytime. Okay, so I don't have any of that stuff activated to where it'll change it. Theme. Okay, so these look like they're just different ones that they have preloaded. Or you can do a custom. Okay, I like that one. That one's pretty good. What was that? Elegant and good day. No, definitely not that one. I like this one. The material contrast. It looks like a pretty good one. What can I edit on it? Okay, so it's just brightness. So it looks like it loads up everything for you. Uh, you got nav, music. What I would like to do, let's see, theme editor options. Advanced design, separate themes for day and night. I think the advanced will allow me to customize it a lot better. Oh, it's even got a setup for like a radar detector. That's pretty neat. Huh. How about that? set all of your brightness on it method grid size six items uh, I'm not gonna mess with that yet 
standard boot animation. I'll leave that standard. I don't know what the UI animation is. We'll leave that. Distance, I'm going to change that to miles. Temperature, Fahrenheit. Time, we'll do auto, we'll leave that. Full screen. So there's that, so I guess uh, I'll have to mess around with it a little bit more. I kind of like to change some of these around here if I can, instead of just what their standard ones are. I'll see if I can figure out anything else, and uh, if I do, I'll, uh, I'll include it in this video. Alright, so it looks like if you long press on an item, you can go in and you can change it. Uh, you got like your icons, you got a pre-selection, you can name it however you want, and you can go in here and go to your apps. So I'm going to do... play on this one if I can find it. Car Auto. So I can select that one to see if it will... Okay, so it does go to it. showing and now it's going to try to boot up I haven't really connected my phone yet but uh, yeah that's how it works um, seems like it's pretty good I'm um, have to uh, mess around with it a little more um, see if there's any kind of other customization I can do of course I'm going to change the rest of these to uh, what suit suits my needs all right so Way you can customize is to go in here you can go to your app whatever you want to select I'm not sure what I want this one to be See it's on there. Google. Some of the other ones I did. I got Netflix on there. I got CarPlay. My music. Uh, this one I can go to apps. It's going to show all my apps. And is that what I want to? I guess it's the only way you can choose for the apps. And then here I can change my uh, brightness however I want. Let's 
settings. Okay, so start the application automatically. Oh, it timed out on me. All right, so I'll go into this. So now that I want this new screen to launch, I'm gonna make sure I have it turned on so it will automatically launch for me and I don't have to go into it each time. So hopefully once I start the car again, I'll let you know if there's any issues with it, but this should actually come up. And I think it looks pretty good. I do like my default um, home screen picture. And I actually thought about uh, getting a really good picture of my car and putting it on there. That was so it shows it. But uh, I do kind of like this app. It looks pretty cool. I might see if there's any kind of other ones kind of like this, but uh, this one, it definitely looks good. And one other thing, uh, if you want your screen, so when you go back to your home screen, if you want it to look like this, instead of what I was showing you earlier with the Corvette symbol, um, all you have to do is go in here, scroll down until you see where it is. There, there you go. So you want to go to home screen, and then just make sure you have the Gamma Car Launcher selected. That way, so anytime you go back to your home screen down here, it's gonna pull this up and have the auto boot. So next time I start the car, it should show up exactly like this. All right, time to test this out. Let's see if it works. center here you can actually go through and change everything so if you want like your Chevy emblem you can put that there um, you can have uh, your nav set up and it'll actually show your nav instructions right here uh, you got your compass that looks pretty cool and you can do your music per hour I'm not sure if that actually syncs up or not I might have to test that out and see if it actually works and you can do back to your clock so I do kind of like the, uh, the logo now what would be really sweet especially for the Corvette is to have a uh, Corvette emblem so that might be something I can try to customize maybe sure if I'll be able to do it or not so I was just showing you the uh, Chevy emblem but I just found out something really cool if I go to settings here go back to your car I can go in here now I do have a Corvette one but it is a C7 so I don't want that I mean if you want to use it you can but I'm gonna go back and my original screen that I had that said Corvette and had the uh, it's kind of like an outline of the uh, C6. I was actually able to add it, so I just click on it right here, and boom. Now I think I have this thing set up exactly how I want it. I'm definitely happy with it. And another thing I figured out, if you hit the uh, back button, it can actually turn off your screen, and it just has the uh, time on there. So that's pretty neat as well. Open CarPlay. How cool is that? All right, let me go back to home. Uh, let's see. Open equalizer. How about that? Check that out. That's cool. So I think I figured out most of the uh, little tricks that you can do with this. Uh, there might be a few other things um, that you may be able to do, but I think I got everything set up the way I want it. 
definitely think I'm going to roll with this for a while. I'll definitely look at some of the other um, launchers that they have for like the cars that are uh, set up for Android and stuff. But uh, until then, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos. And I will see you next time.